Since I started uploading videos about the Android OS, I have been receiving many messages and comments related to kernel errors. Most of you, whenever you try an Android OS, either it gets stuck on loading or you encounter a kernel-related error. So, if you are one of these people, don't worry, because in today's video, I will provide you with the Thanos version of Phoenix OS, which comes with more than five pre-installed kernels. This means that if the first kernel doesn't work well for you, you can try the second one, and if the second one doesn't work, you can try the third one, and so on. Lastly, we will test Free Fire along with some low-end games and see if you should actually try this OS or not. So, let's move to the computer screen and understand the rest of the process. Let's roll. So, I am now on my PC screen and first of all, let me show you the specs of my PC to clear all your doubts regarding system requirements. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Regarding the graphics card, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which is practically useless. So, let's move on to the installation process. To install this version of Phoenix OS, you will need a few files, and I will provide all the links to these files on my website. First of all, you need to have Disk Genius installed and you also need to have the latest version of Grub2 Win installed. Additionally, you need the Grub code, and you should have this zip file as well. Since the zip file is quite large, I have divided it into parts, and it is compulsory to download all these parts. First, you need to open Disk Genius and select a partition. Make sure the partition you select is completely empty and has around 10 GB of space for the OS. After selecting the partition, you need to right-click on it and select the format option. Then, in the partition system, select EXT4 and type Thanos in the volume label field. After that, click on the format button. Once you click, the partition will start formatting. After the drive is formatted, open the drive, right click, and select the option to create a new folder. Now, minimize Disk Genius and open the grub code you downloaded. In this text file, you will see a name. Simply copy this name and paste it into Disk Genius. Now, inside this folder, create a new folder and name it Data. In the next step, you need to extract the ISO file. Since the file size is quite large, it will take some time to extract. Once the extraction is complete, copy all these files from the extraction location and paste them into Disk Genius. With that, our work with Disk Genius is done, and now we will create a boot entry. For that, open Grub2Win and select the Manage Boot Menu option at the bottom. At the top, you will see the option Add a New Entry. Simply click on it. Here, you need to select Submenu from the drop-down menu and type Thanos OS in the title section. After doing this, Minimize Grub to Win and open the Grub Code file again. Copy all the text from this Grub Code file. Next, go back to Grub to Win and click on Edit Custom Code. Paste the code you copied here and save it. All right, 50% of our work is done now, and I will restart my PC and record the remaining process with a hand cam. After restarting your PC, you will see a boot menu. From there, select Grub 2 for Windows. Then, select Thanos OS and press Enter. Next, a list of kernels will appear. Choose the first kernel initially. Later, when you launch this OS again, you can select any kernel. The loading process has now started and it will take some time to complete. So friends, finally, after many hours of effort, Thanos OS has been successfully installed. And before we talk about its features, let's take care of an important setting. Go to the settings of the OS and select the mouse and trackpad option. Here, you will see an option related to sensitivity. Adjust this option according to your preference. I recommend keeping it low so that when you play any shooting game, it will be easier for you to take headshots. Additionally, if you go to the start menu, you will find many pre-installed apps. You will also see software related to gear lock and key mapping. Regarding the Android version, this OS provides Android 7, which is fully compatible with any low-end PC. I installed over 20 games on this OS, but only a few games worked perfectly, while most had crashing issues, which is common in many Android OS. I also manually installed Free Fire on this operating system, and then, when I launched Free Fire, it initially got stuck on the loading screen. Then, after clearing the data 10 to 12 times, the game eventually loaded, and I reached the lobby. However, when I played a match, there was so much lag that I had to force shut down my entire system because the operating system has become almost unusable. Well, I tried several games on this OS besides Free Fire, but none of them gave me as poor FPS as Free Fire did. So, in conclusion, I would say that if you're thinking of playing Free Fire on this OS with just 2 GB of RAM, 
I wouldn't recommend it at all. If you have 4 to 6 GB of RAM, it might work, but for now, running it on 2 GB of RAM is not possible. Alright, we've reached the end of the video, and thank you so much if you've taken the time to watch it until here. You can also check out the upcoming videos on the screen, and if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do so to stay updated with future video releases. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.